if I see a big pile of tunas, I mean, if they're breaking and they're busting and stuff like that, um, it's, I'll stay in that area, but there's no really one way to work that. When they're busting like that, right now, there is when we get a bite from a tuna uh, or we see them like that, we call them blind tunas. And there's a time of the year, right, when they get ready to spawn where they, they're they're really aggressive. They're feeding by themselves. They're they're you know schooling in twos and threes, um, and that's that's usually only lasts for maybe three weeks, four weeks out of the time. Um, usually right around May and June. Uh, our water's a little cooler this year, so it's just kind of starting to happen right now. But to go and work that area, you, you might get a bite out of it. Um, but. Typically, when we're trying to catch our, our tunas, um, we're looking for porpoise schools. And once we find those porpoise schools, we'll work the porpoise school in a figure eight pattern in the front of the porpoise as they're moving. So we'll come in front, back and forth, back and forth. The tunas will stay in front, the porpoise will stay in the back, and then sometimes we'll make a wrap around the back of it, and then that's where the marlin typically hang out, it's behind the school. Um, they're looking for the stragglers, the straggler ahis, even the, the young porpoise they'll go ahead and, and grab too, which uh, is pretty amazing. But for for, the, for our tunas and stuff like that, when we're seeing them busting, it's, we, oh, we always say it's kind of like barking dogs. They're not going to bite. You know, if you see it, go the other way. 